Going try your luck, test me in again, we let it rain Please don't start us up, got that black and white, they ain't a game It's the office, please don't search us, we don't got a thing Tell the boy, we don't run out as we poppin' up Them jeans up, it's broken up, like the fireworks, I keep the flame hot This is the raw tree, I got the strain Yeah, I'm charging up, they can't keep up, got them looking drain Now they walking up, tryna put the face in the lane Pull up and I scrap, and I'm swerving Yeah, that's gonna come up straight. Yeah, so we should be good back here. Back here. You wanna go in the back? Yeah. Okay. I was like, yeah, I'll watch it as it comes up. So coming up. All right. And this car looks so freaking good. I love, I love these wheels. I love it. Let's get this wheel off. We're gonna take this fender liner out. I'm gonna fly ahead. More the install. Yeah, the install is just gonna take a little bit longer. Yeah, it says 15 seconds. Okay, yeah, hit me. <laughs> Some twin turbies. Uh, you get ready next to the device, we can put on a car and make it go pop, 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 and keep playing. We're gonna use it. Brrr. Big shout out. Speed Addict 731. 106. 78. Kind of factory, looks kind of sneaky, James Bond like. Some 007 action. sent me a tune revision that has the trans brake built in now we got the two-step hooked up originally we had it planned to work off of the foot brake and we are having some trouble doing so getting the thing to launch without the thing going in a limp mode so all the wiring is correct i don't know i think we just have to play with the settings a little bit more in the watt box if you guys have any tricks tips let me know in the comments down below now if you're going to use the trans brake in the 10R80 with the HP tuners engaged using the paddles, I do highly suggest that you have a built transmission. It's gonna be easier on the gears and also your axles. So I don't know what we're gonna actually be launching the car at. Uh, might be 3,500, might be 4,000 RPM, might be 45, just depending on what we can do tonight to see if we can get this thing to hook up. I don't know, we're gonna go to a smaller track that's near me. Uh, LS Fest is going on, so unfortunately, we are not able to take it to the quarter mile, but that's going to be coming soon. So we have drive shaft, we have everything that we need. So let's get to it. Hey, full transparency. I haven't been to this little small track by my house in a while. Uh, eighth mile. I hear it every single video almost in, in, in the comments. Why eighth mile? Why so much eighth mile? Yeah, we do a lot of quarter mile stuff too, but I mean, you got to think about it. So the best we've been able to really do with this car, for example, is like 120 ish. About 119, 120 in the eighth. In the quarter, we'll only pick it up about another 30. I am not gonna do a wastegate. I'm gonna go right for boost. Super hot. Look at my uh, IATs there at 113. A lot of veteran drag races to tell you that it's won or lost in the eighth. I mean, honestly. So, Trek seems to be holding some mid five second cars tonight. So, all good. DA has gotta be 3,000. I am covered in the sweat. I 
<laughs> oh my gosh, I didn't think, I thought the uh, the shutdown's real narrow here. I forgot about that. Man, I was on the brakes. Oh, all right, that was uh, no trans brake, just foot brake. It felt a little sluggish getting off the line, but it definitely felt good going down the track for sure. Look the damages in this hot, hot weather. Woo. So it looks like their ink is about out, but if you can see, it's 119 mile an hour. So it's a 1760 and it's a 65 ET. So that's pretty consistent with what we've been doing with the car so far. Now the idea is to run trans brake just to see if that will improve our time. All right, so there's an event going on, so I'll take a back seat for just a few minutes, about 20 minutes or so, let them finish up, and then they're gonna call us back in, and we'll try the trans brake. But, uh, yeah, seems to be, no matter what I do, really, the 1.7, the 1.8, 60s are pretty consistent for um, a 119 mile an hour at about a 6.5 to the eighth without using trans brake or without using a two-step. So pretty cool, no matter what track I go to, we're running about the same times. It's definitely a back half car for sure. This thing loves, loves, loves the quarter mile. aggressive an aggressive launch first time with trans brake that was intense <laughs> I lost the car had to get back in it that was crazy man oh my gosh all right I think it was about 4,000 <laughs> that was I don't know we butchered that man but that was that was really cool that worked really well oh my gosh <laughs> what a blast we're gonna have to try that again we'll let the car cool down and try that again maybe not as aggressive maybe like 3,000 but that was nuts oh, all right. right lane I have to go <laughs> yeah that was a 6.6 and 118 so pretty slow pretty slow but you know once the 60 foot got a little bit better still in the one sevens but we're just gonna have to play with it but man that was pretty cool that's pretty sweet that's an aggressive launch though i mean i definitely recommend like axles and drive shaft like we have but i could definitely see stock axles snapping in half 100 percent good man 
That was just a simple foot brake. I, I, really, I like the foot brake, man. I really do. I just need to figure out the two-step, make the two-step work. We got it hooked up. My little switch down here, my little 007 switch. I think we just got to rewire something. Um, it is what it is, man. But car feels really good tonight, uh, given the heat that we're in. Sticky track. Pretty impressed. Oh, all right. Thank all you. Right. <laughs> all right. What do we do? Uh, all right. Oh, we went slower. What happened? Do, do, do. Let me pull over. Right underneath this light. That's perfect. Oh, one sevens all night long, 60 foot. So we lost about three mile an hour there. I'm not sure why. Uh, I don't know what's up.